I have sweatpants on. And this is a bodysuit. <laughs> I threw it on as a fancy shirt. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am finally going to be using and reviewing the new Juvia's Place I Live, I Love Holiday Palette. I am so excited for this palette and to show you guys the look I came up with and what my thoughts are on it. So if you're excited or wondering what I think about this beautiful little palette here, then go ahead and keep watching. Two things I don't want to talk about. Uh, one, my brows. And two, my hair. We're not discussing it. We're not discussing any of that, okay? So I know that I will be reviewing this palette, but I decided to grab some other Juvia's Place products that are kind of new-ish to me. I don't think they're new, but they're new-ish to me. So I decided to grab quite a few just because I thought it would be, I thought it would be fitting to do while I'm doing my Juvia's Place holiday palette to also add like some other Juvia's Place because I got a whole lot of new makeup recently and I want to try it. Also, anything that I use or I mention in this video will be linked down below if it is available for purchase. If it's something that's older that may not be still available for purchase, I will put it down there. There just won't be a link for it. So, and as always, it is affiliated. I know that I have been saying that lately, but I just want to make sure that like I'm being 100% honest with you guys, you know, with affiliate codes. I do get a percentage of the money when you shop through those codes and I just never want to come off like I'm being like shady and someone be like, oh, well, she's affiliated with. So there are affiliate links. The first thing I'm going to go into is prepping my eyes. So I'm going to go in with the Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer in shade two. Oh my God. See, so that just like ran out of the tube. It reminds me of um, P. Louise, but it's a little thick. Thinner. I do find that the consistency is a tad bit thinner. It's not as thick. So I did cut my brows with my P. Louise because I love, 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 love the consistency and thick coverage of the P. Louise. But as for the primer, I figured I would go in with Juvia's Place. I do love this color though. So this is the I Live I Love Holiday Palette by Juvia's Place. There was a purple one too. It was called like ice something, but I just was like, it was okay. It was a pretty purple palette, but nevertheless, it was a purple palette. However, this one really, really intrigued me. And I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do with you, but here she is. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think it's going to be really easy, but kind of glamorous, but maybe abstract. I don't know. And I'm going to go with this bright red Oh my gosh. Um, it doesn't have any names, so I don't know. It doesn't have any names. Okay, here we go. So I'm just gonna do a blend. This is a bright color. There's no going back from this once it's on. I'm literally gonna do an all over blend with this color. First, I'm gonna get it on my eye. Oh my gosh, that is really bright. But I'm gonna do basically like an all over red and then put some of that really pretty red shimmer over top. I mean, it looks pink in person, I'm not gonna lie, but like here, it looks like red orange. Oh my eye, it's kind of giving off um, pink vibes. So I decided to get a packing brush to do the lid. So I can be really pigmented under that glitter. Wow. It's a very pigmented palette. So I'm not putting any extra on. I'm just taking what I have on the brush and on my eyes and just really kind of extending and floofing it out, if you will. I'm going to clean this up, but I don't know what fucking happened there. So I'm going to go place this red chunky glitter all over the lid with my finger because I just don't think that a brush is really going to pick up the amount of glitter and place it properly like I want. Oh, that's so pretty. It reminds me of like a glass, a red, like ruby glass slipper. A red glass slipper? What am I trying to say? I'm gonna try to use one of these little gadgets from Morphe and try to pick up some of this glitter. I just feel like, I don't know, I'm not feeling very well. So I don't feel like myself today. And so I feel like everything I keep trying to say is coming out tongue-tied and twisted 
and sounds ridiculous. <laughs> Going in with a different brush, the thing was not picking up color, but here we go. I'm trying to be honest with you guys. Like, I'm just like, you ever have those days where you're like, yeah, I'm not doing it. And so that was today, and I wasn't going to film a Friday video. And then I was like, get your ass up and go film a dang video. You're going to feel happy and glad that you did. And I am. Like, playing with makeup just kind of, like, makes me feel better, if that makes any sense. Oh, I love that. Love that. I'm going to go in and moisturize my face. I probably have glitter all over my hands. So my face is going to be, like, really sparkly. I'm going to go in with my primer. And another moisturizing product. I'm going to go in with my foundation. So this is one of the other new products I'm using. This is the, the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation. Hopefully this is my color because I got it all flying. So, fingers crossed. Mm. Oh no. It's a little light. It smells really weird too. It smells like, um, it smells like oranges. Is that... We're not weird to anybody that this foundation smells like oranges. If you guys have this foundation, you need to immediately respond and let me know if I'm crazy or if it is, it does have a citrus smell to it. It says it's full coverage, oil free shine control. Is this about to be like hella matte on my face? I'm like, I have extremely dry skin. <laughs> uh, first impressions not a fan i mean i guess we'll see how it blends out and wears but also i feel like i have to blend this very quickly because it's such a thin product and the problem with thin products is they're real nice and lightweight and like more natural looking but they dry they dry very fast so you have to work quickly with products like this. Oh my gosh. I, I don't hate it. Um, I think like the longer this foundation sits on my face, the longer I actually enjoy, like look at my skin. Like it looks like my skin, but like air, look at that. I like it. But I will say, it said it was full coverage and it lied, but you can definitely build it. So I am building it up. Comment down below and tell me, does it look like I'm wearing foundation? Like obviously you saw me before, so you know I'm wearing foundation, but like, you know what I mean. So now I'm going into my concealer, which is another new product. It is the Juvia's Place Concealer. It is new to me. I don't know how long it's been out. <gasps> I think my concealer's too white. Look how white that looks. Oh, I got it in the shade 22. It's too light. <laughs> Frosty the snowman. Hmm. This is so light. Like, hello, Casper. What's up, bitch? I'm gonna set with a darker trans uh, setting powder. To see if I can get that to yellow up a little bit under my eye. Because <laughs> it looks like I literally took white freaking concealer and put it all over my face. I don't know what's happening. Watch this be like the most ass fucking makeup tutorial you've ever seen. And this is the one that goes viral. Because everyone is making fun of me. <laughs> Seriously, don't fucking do that. <laughs> I could not go viral for being made fun of. <laughs> I've got kids in middle school. <laughs> so before we move on to my face, I'm gonna go in to my under eye. And I think, I think I'm gonna do this color underneath my eye. God, please don't let this be ugly. <laughs> Once I do this, I cannot be undone. I just wanted kind of like a Christmassy vibe, but like not. I don't hate it. I don't hate it, but I definitely... It looks more cohesive on the palette than it does my actual, like, eye. Hang on with just a little and a little fluffier brush. And blend it. This is also another new product. Wow. 
This is like the best eyeliner I've ever used and these are like $3, so job out there. All right, I'm gonna go into this blue sparkle right here. I'm gonna lay that all over where I just put all of that blue just to lighten it up just a little to kind of match a little bit of that liner i mean i don't hate it like the more and more i'm putting sparkles see? and i'm gonna go in with that lighter color for the inner corner just to pop it right in there don't know why i did that that did nothing all right i'm gonna go into the highlighter i'm gonna use and just pop a little bit of that right there oh i kind of like it it's not terrible, okay? It's not the worst thing I've ever done. So I'm gonna go into the Juvia's Place bronzer that I have. And I'm gonna use, I think, this brush. Okay, so I'm gonna move this out of my way. And I'm just gonna give some color. Some color back into this white concealer. Oh, wow. And this one comes with two different colors. I don't know if you call it that, but it comes with a lighter one and a darker one, which I very much appreciate because I am two different shades in the winter and in the summer. So the darker one I will use more for summertime where, you know, you get it. The lighter one is for my most cold months. I don't know. So I'm really, really obsessed with this bronzer. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This bronzer is like fucking amazing. <sighs> like absolutely to die for. So I'm gonna go into the blush um, palette or blush duo that I got. And I got it in volume one. The reason I got it in volume one is because <laughs> it's so beautiful. But she, she is the star of the show in this one. So I'm gonna go in here in this... Mm-hmm. I'm about to just are you ready? Are you ready? Ah she's so pretty. She is so pretty. Ooh, and it goes so nice with the bronzer. I guess I'm gonna a little on my nose. This is such a pretty color. And like you do not need you really don't need a lot. <laughs> like I'm just like dip, 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 and it's just so freaking pigmented. Holy smokes. Just put on some mascara so it can dry a little before I apply my lashes. Alright, so for lipstick, I got the Juvia's Place Toffee lipstick. Here goes nothing. Also, I never tried one of their lipsticks before. It smells really nice. So I love the shape of this lipstick it literally gives me like perfect lines i mean thank god though right because i forgot a fucking lip liner it's like a really really nice lipstick it's really thin but like not like terrible thin it's actually really nice all right so i'm gonna hop off here i'm gonna put on my lashes and then we'll be right back for my final thoughts okay so i am back hi hi i will say this palette here's me hear me out I like this palette okay I really do like this palette I think it's gorgeous I think the packaging is great I think the formula is fantastic the glitters are not really what I thought they were I thought they were gonna be more pressed glitters and they're just really not I mean they're beautiful it looks like I have ruby glass slippers on my eyes it's just not as chunky as I thought it was gonna be which is fine a lot of people don't like super chunky glitters however I will say I don't like the vibe that the colors give off on my eyes. So when I saw this palette, I was like, oh my god, like, this color and this color are going to look so good together. Look at them in the palette. They look so pretty next to each other. But, like, when I put them on, they just come off as different tones. The top is more pink. The bottom is a little bit more green. So I just feel like, I feel like it's not my color story. I don't think it's terrible. I just think that if you use this palette, you're really just getting that like two in one, like I was saying, where you just do like a matte and a shimmer, like my lid, a matte and a shimmer and a matte and a shimmer, which is fine. It makes it very easy to use. I didn't see very many reviews on YouTube for this one. I saw a handful but it's definitely more the purple palette and I think that the reason that is is because the purple palette is just, it's just going to be an easier palette to review, okay? Because you can come out with a beautiful look with no effort with a purple palette. So I just think that this palette is, it's a little bit more complicated if you want to use 
almost all of them at one time but if you're okay doing that two-step eyeshadow that I love to do the matte and the shimmer I think that this palette is really nice I think that the formula is stunning they are always stunning with their formula I just wish that I liked it so much more than I did in my head like I've been waiting to do this look since I got this on Black Friday and I'm just like it just isn't what I thought it was gonna be is all I'm saying so I love the formula I think that it's a really good buy and again the best way to use a palette like this is going to be that two-step eyeshadow look basically what I did at the top where you put the matte all over the place and then you just kind of cover the lid and a little bit above with some shimmer it just gives it a nice beautiful pop it makes applying eyeshadow super super easy so I do like that I love that each one has like a match to it but as for like using them all in one look I'm just like it isn't my favorite color combo if I'm being honest if I'm being 100% honest it's not my favorite color combo but I do think that the colors in the palette themselves are stunning so that is it ladies and gentlemen um I will go through real quickly I guess and tell you with the new makeup I used I really love their lipstick not a fan of the concealer it was not as full coverage as I wanted it to be it was super super light the blush and the bronzers absolutely amazing here for them love them and then the eye prep eye prime I've used before and I really enjoyed that so other than that that is it for my video today guys in this makeup look and this makeup tutorial I hope you enjoyed it let me know down below if you have this palette or if you plan on getting it it's very inexpensive I will just say that Juvia's Place is a very very inexpensive brand but they come out with really really good quality stuff so it makes it really worth it I hope you enjoyed this video again if you did please give it a thumbs up for me please make sure you're subscribed before you leave I do three new beauty videos every single week and you do not want to miss out on those and I will see you guys on the next one bye